It is my pleasure to introduce this year's alumnus, who will share some thoughts with us. Jerome Brown graduated from Lane, and I had the opportunity to know him as a seventh and eighth grader. Uh, I had the pleasure of both connecting with him then, and then watching him over the last ten years or so. He's connected a lot with the school, particularly with Mr. Silver, who helped on that journey to high school. I've had the opportunity to talk with him and to see him through those college years and into the workforce and see him accomplish such wonderful things as he has settled in Bruno. I'm super excited to welcome him so that he can share with you how Link has impacted his life and what he's doing, what that trajectory looked like for him. He is truly a Link scholar, always striving to do his best and always giving back to others. We are so proud of his accomplishments and so proud that he has joined us again tonight. Come on up. Come on up. Good afternoon. You guys able to hear me? 19 years ago, I was a student here. It is abundantly clear that someone somewhere has the direct line to the man upstairs, extending the hand of grace and favor towards me. That hand led me to Link Community School, a place that changed the trajectory of my life in ways I could never imagine. First and foremost, I want to express my deepest gratitude and heartfelt thanks to Ms. Paracasio. Ms. Kenny and the entire staff at Link for their unwavering support and dedication to students at Link. Your tireless efforts in shaping children that looks like me have not gone unnoticed. Your belief in us, your guidance, and your consistent encouragement has been instrumental in shaping the person I am today. I'm encouraged by what I see within the four walls of this institution. I want to take a moment to reflect on my own journey to Link. And it seems like the stereotypical story of a black kid in the inner city with immigrant parents who work tirelessly to provide for the family for a child that has a vision. I knew they had to be more than what my eyes could see. My parents are the hardest working people you will ever meet, and they turned their sacrifices into the gift of education for me and my sister. Nineteen years ago, my parents began to observe the activities in East Orange. Despite the presence of many dedicated teachers and staff in the area, the educational system was failing. And at that time, I was attending Sojourner Truth Middle School, which was ranked one of the worst schools in New Jersey. At that point, I realized that a change was necessary. To illustrate the situation further, my father vividly remembers the particular incident when he picked me up from school before a business trip, and he saw a group of guys um, in my school wearing gang bandanas, and one in particular concealing a 12-inch knife in his pocket. At that point, my father was a strong advocate for education, and he served on the PTA board for every school I've attended up until then. Determined to find a better educational path for my sisters and I, my father came across Link through an SST, uh, SSAT booklet, which mentions Link's high academic rankings and high school placement. On the day before his trip, he walked up to the office, filled out the application, and jumped on his flight. Our family had all the essential things that money could buy, but we also had the things that money could not buy. Love, honor, faith, perseverance, hard work, faith. They made sure that we lacked for nothing. My parents went to great lengths to make sure that we had everything that we need, so much so that my mother worked 16 hours a day at North Bethany's Royal Medical Hospital six days a week until last year. My father literally sacrificed his career to make sure that we were able to get to school safely. It was at length that my potential was recognized and nurtured by dedicated teachers who saw beyond my circumstances. The seed was planted at birth, but I can wholeheartedly say that Link helped see that um, Link's helped to allow that seed to flow. After graduating from Link, I went on to Morristown Bear School and excelled. 
After receiving multiple college athletic scholarships, my path eventually led me to LaSalle University, where I discovered my passion for finance and Wall Street. It is at LaSalle I had the privilege of meeting arguably the most successful alumni there, a man that looked like me, and I asked him to mentor me, and I realized what he did for a living, but more importantly, how much money he made. <laughs> and that ignited the fire within me to understand the intricacies of the financial markets and how money worked. My journey has never been about me, but more about we. The reality is that I am blessed beyond measure because some of my classmates' dreams and potential are literally locked up in a, a, in a cell or a gravesite. I can't help but to be grateful that I'm a firm believer that the formula for success for all children is a supportive mother and father at home, exposure, access, opportunity, and hard work. I saw this firsthand while at Link, and I have a few recollections that I can discuss briefly. Uh, but attending our trip to the Bahamas was the first time I jumped on a plane by myself. Also partnering with Link, partnered with Bridgerton, uh, Bridgewater Rarington. That was my first time seeing people that did, look, did not look like me. Most recently, also seeing Link students visiting CNBC. Fast forward to today, I've been fortunate enough to sit on a few boards to create change, sat at some of the tables with some of the most important and influential individuals in our generation, and worked at some of the biggest financial institutions and trade floors in the U.S. And today, I am proud um, to be a partner of a firm that is one of three black-owned money management firms in all of North Carolina. I've also been uh, blessed enough to be featured in the Black Enterprise Magazine. And I don't say these things to brag, but I do say this to say that this could be the outcome for all black kids in the inner city with immigrant parents that works hard and has a vision and Link provides them. The Greek philosopher Epictetus once said that only the educated are free. And I believe that education is truly the key to liberation. The impact has had countless lives is a testament to the sacrifice, time, and resources of men. I want to express my gratitude to the exceptional staff members who saw greatness in me almost 20 years ago and continue to inspire me today. Mr. Bill Kurtz, Mr. Silver Wears, Dr. Tisha, Ms. Patricia, Ms. Thomas, and Ms. Green, Ms. Morgan, Ms. McKinney, Ms. Chenko, Ms. Glenn, Ms. Marlene Wilson, just to name a few. Yeah. I'd be remiss if I did not mention some of my class, the greatest class that ever come through when the 2004 class that are killing it. Just to name a few, Kimberly Drew, Doma, Melita Freeman, Shanika, she's here. Victoria, and so many more. In closing, I stand here uh, as living proof that Lynn Community School is a history in the making institution. The impact it has on the lives has the power to rewrite destinies and empower generations. My heartfelt thanks goes to everyone who has supported Link from you all the donors who make it all possible and the teachers there to dedicate their lives to shaping the next generation of young minds. As I look ahead, I'm just beginning and I haven't gotten started yet. With the love and values instilled in me, I am determined to continue making a difference in the lives of others. I thank you for being part of my journey, and I thank you, Lynn Community Charter School now, for believing in me and being a beacon of hope. I thank you all. Woo!